What is up YouTube? It's your boy Timon and today we are back with another video. Today we got a lot of short shifter parts to install on my car. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. So we're gonna get to it. All right guys, so this is everything that's all laid out. I'm hoping this rod extender or extension will fit in the Acuity short shifter. Short shifter is down here. We got the open shift boot. This is the shift knob that I got from Billet Works. So there's all that. A little, a little, a little sneaky sneak and shout out. This is the shift boot collar that I got in titanium. Chasing J's is kind enough to let you know how to take care of the titanium. All right guys, so this is the shift boot collar. So you're just gonna push this out. Ooh, it comes with a little sticker and boom. Look at that finish. Woo! Oh yeah, I think it's all gonna look perfecto. Here's the billet works shift knob that I got. Let's unwrap this bad boy. So I just basically got the regular engravings of the numbers and then I had the type R right at the bottom. I think a, I think for just the shift knob alone was like 150 to 170 bucks. And I tipped like a couple bucks. So pretty it came pretty fast too. It came in like three to four days. So it wasn't too long of a wait. Shout out to them. Alright guys, so here's the acuity short shifter assembly. For the second time, the fully adjustable one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I wish I could have um, took it more time to take everything off the old SI because I didn't know you could reuse the same one. So there goes another 450 bucks on this again, but it's well worth it. So that's why I decided to buy it again. And now this is basically that adjustable rod extender that hopefully we'll be able to switch out with the Chasing J's titanium one. So if it does work, I'm sure it'll look super nice, super nice. But Acuity basically gave you everything, all the stickers, all the hardware, so you should be set to go. All right guys, so we are in the car right now. And first you wanna push the armrest back, everything back basically. And then you're gonna wanna take these two pieces out. You can use the pry tool, but you can honestly, it comes out really easily. Look at that. Just like that. Just one like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to put the tools part list that you guys will need for this install right here. Shapoo. All right, guys. So I still got this Acuity piece from last year. So you're just going to slide this right underneath. Just pop it up. This part is a little scary. So you do want to be careful. The tabs in here are a little like scary to mess with don't want to break them there we go so this part I just kind of slide it here and pry upwards like like, like oh. that side and it should just pop out yeah like that see you want to there's three screws in total I think or two for now there's one right here and then one on the exact other side so you want to loosen those So put these somewhere safe. We're just gonna use this tray for now. The cup holder tray? Yep. And now I feel like you'll be able to do it, but I see two screws here. Hey. All right guys, so after those four screws, now it seems like it's kind of loose. You just want to pop it up. There like are that. connectors under it, so don't like fully rip it up. Yep. As you can see, the... there's gonna be four connectors, but I think we're gonna have to take the shift boot collar, the shift boot, and there's gonna be a shift, a shift nut. All right, guys. When you push this down, push down by like this part right here. It's in the Alcantara part or suede. It's just Alcantara. Alcantara, yeah. Yeah, it's easier to push down by this with like two hands. It was really easy to come out. Don't like push by like the red part itself up here. That's Might. probably why you, people break it. Yeah, or snap it. I mean, 
I was struggling with it. So to take this nut off right here, it is a 14 millimeter wrench that you will need. Just twist it clockwise. Oh, about, about put it in. Put it in third. Don't twist it clockwise. I mean, that's counter. That's counter. I think I went clockwise and it loosened. So now you're just gonna twist the shift knob counterclockwise to get it out. Boom, just like that. And then the nut counterclockwise. And boom. See, if you had the open shift glue, that would've went right through. Right through. <laughs> All right, so after you guys get that out, now you can pry this up and out a little bit. Just slowly. There's tabs on the right and left side in the middle. You should pull those out and it should be easy. So after you get that out, all right guys, so there's gonna be three connectors. So what you wanna do is, there's like a little mini tab right in the middle of it. You're just gonna push that down and pull out. And it should pop right out like that. So it's just finding those little small tabs on whichever side it's laying on. So this one, this tab is right there. So it'll be right here. So I'm gonna push that down. Boom. And then for the last one, same thing. Just find that middle tab, push down, and it should pop right out. Hey, y'all can't be loitering here. Y'all don't live here. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, you can hold this real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the perfect Oh, I got it. Oh, hey. See, they just, <laughs> it hurts, right? Yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. So this is type R number nothing no more, oh, clearly. Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. So these are the connectors for like your your brake hold, your your sports R or comfort mode, and like your parking brake. Need your Phillips head screwdriver, which is right here. You're gonna take this metal bolt out or screw out, not bolt. Boom. So now we're gonna have to take. The AC head unit. That's off. also a Phillip. Both sides. There's gonna be two Phillips on both sides right here. I mean, so but is, it, is, it, is it relatively the same thing as the SI, anyways? Yeah, yeah it's the exact same. same. So, yeah, what if, if you guys are seeing this, well, same SI, so. But, you know, don't demonetize him. <laughs> he needs these views. I think I think you have to take this one out, too. Or do you? No. No, I don't think that. that. So this one, I don't think you have to take out. All right guys, so I can't get to this screw right here because the screw is long. It, you can either get a shorter flat head or you could be smart and move the steering wheel up. Kind of get it out of your way. Boom, gives you more room. Look at that, I didn't think of that. Man, that's crazy. Because it's a uh, Just Stone 101 uh, car enthusiast. He's still in school, so he, he has his brain still. <laughs> I haven't been in school in years. <laughs> so, so after you get those two screws out, you're gonna wanna take the AC unit. Oh, that was cool. So the right side is out. So be careful too, don't fully fling it out because there are connectors in the back of this. So like that. And there's two. There's gonna be two right here. A gray one and a white one. Focus. Like I said, the tab. Let me see if I can try to focus this. Right there. Like that one out. So this one was at the top. Now this one's gonna be, I think, at the bottom. Boom, like that. Just like that, really simple, easy. So there's gonna be two screws right here. I'm gonna take out another Phillip. Boom. So after that's done, this whole piece should come out, right? Oh, you gotta throw this in like six, right? Boom, just like that. So remember to throw this in six gear to give you more room to like kind of finagle that out. All right guys, so you wanna take this whole piece out right here. So to do that, you take this mat off, put it outside or something. There's a little part right here that you could poke something small through to like hook it out. There are two connectors back here as well for these two. Power outlets. There we go. Oops. So there's, now that that's out, you wanna take these two tabs out, the two connectors, push the tab in. All right, no, we can, we can ignore that one for now. 
<laughs> this one came out so easy. What the hell? All right, so the USB one on the left side, that one comes out. Let me see. You need the magic touch. Yeah, you got that. It's your car. It's the Bang's car. <laughs> see that? Bang cool. Bang cool. Not me. All right. So now that that's out, you want to take these out and then this connector out right here. Well, I'm not sure if this one's come out since it's already unplugged, but you have to take this out with the, the little hook tool again. So it comes out of here and then you can take this out. And then after that, you should be able to take this whole assembly out after unscrewing some things, which we'll get to that after. But we'll focus on this for now. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so when you take this wire out, the tabs like right here, it's kind of hard to do with your fingers since it's small. So I just use this and then I pulled on the wires very lightly to be careful. And then it should just slide right out. And then I think you want to focus on getting it out of this like yellow piece right here. All right, guys, so with this part, this was in like this. You see how it's locked in now? I just put it back in. All you do is kind of have this pick tool go in it, push down and just kind of twist out like that. And you can see it coming out, see? Just like that. So hopefully that's a better like view of this part, how to take this out without breaking it or anything like that. I could do it again for you guys, honestly. Put it back in, Justin. So like this, guys. Kind of lift this out have something small enough to go like behind it push it and just kind of twist and then from there you could see it pop like peeking its head out a little bit and you just, just twist it out yeah just like that and then you also you want to get this part out from here it's connected to a tab you just want to like push or pull it out so it's not connected anymore this one might be a little bit of a struggle try not your, try your best not to break this tab that's holding this all right guys, so I got my pick tool and I just put it on here, push down and kind of out and it just comes right out. Now on this side, same thing. You're just gonna have to put this pick tool behind that little shield, push down and out. And it should just come right out. It's similar to the other side? Just like that. Awesome. Just, just push down like this right behind it and down and just kind of pry out outward like that and it should hopefully just come out without breaking now after this we can get to removing this whole it's like center console piece like armrest cup holder part take this out and then after that you should have enough room to take your shifter assembly out all right guys so you want to clear out this whole center console you want to take this out i don't know if you have to take this out yeah just basically just take everything out so let's go ahead and do that so then after that comes out, and after you take this part out, you probably should take that out so you can give yourself a little more space and be lenient. You wanna pull this up. And then those two screws you wanna take out. Those are Phillip heads too. So after that, you want to push this forward. You want to get a pry tool, take these two out, pry those out. We'll get to it. Back. Camera about to die? Yeah. Damn. All right, guys. So that's out. There are some screws back here. Not screws, but there is a connector for your keyless entry that should be back here. Yeah, thank you. So you do wanna unplug that. All right, guys. So now that we're back here, this is the connector that you wanna take out. You wanna fully take that out too, even after unplugging it, take the locking tab out. So this right here, you're gonna wanna get that, get that little prick tool, go right behind it, push down, and it should just pop right out. So I'm gonna do that really quick. So you come right here. Put this behind that little round locking, tab. locking tab. Push down and out. There we go. Like that. 
All right, guys, after that, there is the USB port that's in the middle, like in the center of the normal console. So you want to lift it up and try to get it. And after that, you should be able to take the entire center console out. Yeah, it should be like right over here. So I'm going to go back to the front seat and hopefully get a better angle and view for you guys. All right, guys, so this is the USB wire that I'm talking about right in the middle. So you just want to find that tab push down and out and boom now you are ready to take the whole thing out this is where it was before right in the middle yep center console just so y'all know to see if he can get it out this it just slides out now but you do want to be careful if you don't scratch that much things this part is a little finicky to do you want to like push it out towards the carpet and then try to slide it out back and then lift this and then bam, the entire center console. Out. This thing is long. All right, guys. So this is an eight millimeter bolt. So I'm gonna take this out since I'm the only one here for now. And after I take this out, I'll get back to you guys. So after removing those two, those two bolts, this metal bracket should just come right out. And just put this to the side somewhere. And then now you're gonna have. I think these are 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna need to find the missing 10 millimeter socket in my toolbox. So after I find that, I'll come back to you guys. I'm gonna put an extension real quick. Yeah, this one might be tough. So this one, you probably wanna take this out so it's easier for you to get to this bolt back here. All right, guys, so before you, I mean, you could loosen the bolts first, the 10 millimeter bolts, but before anything, there's gonna be, I think two little tabs with the bubble shield looking type thing. So try to get your pick tool and put it behind it. You might be able to just push it in from the inside to be honest, you can see it. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. So if you could push the tabs from the back right here, just push it back out like that. Yeah. So you're just gonna grab it from behind like this, push in and out. If you can get behind it, if you can't, it'll be difficult. So same thing with this side right here. Just like that. That one is towards the front. And yeah. the, you have this one too. I think you can possibly leave this one. There's gonna be one more right here. So same thing. Boom. Now you can reach this back 10 millimeter bolt easier. So I'm gonna loosen all of this. I loosened all of it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this one's loose. All right guys, so you guys gonna need to take this little safety pin out. Oh. So just twist it around basically yeah. until you get it like out and then you could try to pull it out. All right, guys, so I got that out. I basically just had to keep twisting it around and pushing out. You kind of have to play like Tetris with it a little bit. But after that's out, we're going to take this out. I'm gonna slide this out first. Yeah, like that. take this out, put it right on top or something. And then you're going to get your pick tool. So get the pick tool and just kind of pry these two out. Push it down like that. And that's it. And now for the next step. The next step is involving this part over here. We'll let you guys know how to do that. All right, guys. So there's also one more of this that I forgot to take out. So it was in here. Again, reach behind underneath. Like right here. And then just basically just try to push these two little tabs in and then pull it out. And it should just come right out like that. So now you're going to grab your pick tool. And there's a locking tab somewhere in here that you're gonna have to push in and then twist this out. All right, guys, so I got a really small screwdriver. You could use a Phillips head if it's really small too, but you're gonna wanna go on the left side and you can see what I'm pushing down right here. There's like a locking tab that's moving. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Can you guys see that piece that's moving that I'm pushing down? It's like deep on the left side. Oh, I think I... 
So you're just gonna, after you do that, you're just gonna twist and twist left and pull up. Just like that. But I think I just broke it. So don't do what I do and broke that little piece. I don't know if that's okay, but we're gonna find out after the install. I feel like we were pushing on it way too hard. So just be really gentle with that piece. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything after we install everything. So that's kind of a bummer, but we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Also be gentle with this side. Yeah. So again, you just slightly push it in. And once you see like a small movement of that tab, go in and you can twist this at the same time to really make sure. Now you can just twist it and pull it out like that. So after that's out, you can remove the 10 millimeter bolts to finally take this whole assembly out. All right guys, so after you remove those four 10 millimeter bolts, you're just gonna wanna push this down and this whole assembly should be able to come right out like that. So this is the stock Type R shifter. So let's get out, let's go compare the Acuity and the OEM one. Yes sir. All right guys, here's the Acuity, the aftermarket, and then this is the Honda OEM Type R short shifter or OEM shifter. As you can see, this one's like plastic, really light. The Acuity is metal. It's a bit heavier, so you'll have some stronger throws, adjustable throws as well. I think this is the, is this the height adjustable one? Yeah. Yeah. It's all oiled up for you when they ship it. See the bottom link down here too. This one's white instead of blue. All right guys, so we are gonna be swapping the Acuity like extension stick, whatever it's called. We're gonna use a five, millimeter hex to loosen this so that way we can take this right out slide this baby out and then we're gonna swap that with that burnt titanium baby baby handle with care psych not psych. me well they weren't lying when they said hand oil deteriorates the you see that yeah that's my fingerprints holy crap maybe we do have gloves Alright, you know what? I got microfiber cloth, so I'm gonna get that real quick. Alright guys, so I put the Chasing J's titanium. I replaced it with the the stock acuity that they provided you with. So this one I got on Chasing J's um website. So I'll put the link down of where I bought it from. And this one is a 12 this size is 12 millimeter. So in the drop box, it'll say acuity, and you can ask for like the ghost finish which is basically like the silver or whatever or you can have the t burnt titanium finish which is what i got right here and you can also adjust it you're gonna put this in line it up with the holes and then also make sure that goes up on top so that way everything lines up perfectly this will go all the way at the bottom and then you also want to use the hardware that acuity comes with which is right here the stock oem bolts will not fit they're too short yep all right guys don't mind me i think i accidentally put it in the right hand driveway <laughs> that's why it's farther to the right so in order to move this, this damn, now you gotta turn this around. So, <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> is this straight? twist it around. That's not straight, right there. Tighten that down. You don't have to tighten it too hard. And then grab your microfiber cloth. Now you want to loosen this one if you want to adjust it higher or lower. Hold the rod. Okay, that should be good. Uh, try to twist it. Oh, that's oh, damn. This ain't bolted in yet. Yeah, that's on there. All right, guys. So you guys are going to want... You see how the tabs are at the bottom right here or where we pushed? So this top piece basically... It's not going to go in if you just try to forcefully go in. So you're going to want to basically push this up. So have it like this and it should just slide right in if you do it at an angle it's not going to want to go in but like that so it just pushes right in and then now we turn it clockwise clockwise it probably has to go in more before you could even twist it so i'm going to do this again Hold up. so like that Hands are like sweating. 
Yeah, so that's good. So you're gonna have that little tab yeah. right there locked in. So there's this little metal piece, focus right there. You can zoom in too. Right there. It's locked right there. Yeah, so it won't move. Twist it anymore. So we're gonna do the same thing to this side. So this side, it's the same concept. It'll lock onto this thing right here. So you see how it won't go in like that. So just kind of push it. it. Yep. Just turn it a little bit. Yep. This is wrong. It has to go like. So I think it goes in like this. And then boom. And then you see this tab? That's holding that right there. And then, then you're gonna push this in. And then go grab that safety pin. This safety pin. And you're just gonna put it around. If it'll go around. All right guys, so after you get the clip back on to the cable end link, you wanna go ahead and put that part back on. So you can move this back and forth and you just shove it in there. Yep. And that should lock it. There should be a clip there. You have this pin right here and that basically locks it so it won't that's not going anywhere yeah so now i'm pretty sure it can go into gear yeah yep okay. where's neutral <laughs> so now i'm gonna tighten these um five millimeter hex so that way it won't move and then i'll show you the next step all right guys you're gonna grab this piece that acuity provided you and you're just gonna stick this through right here Basically right here. There's an arrow pointing at it too. Really helpful. And this one is a four millimeter hex. Yeah. So I'm gonna go grab that and tighten it down more. It says it right there on the shifter too. All right guys. So I got the four millimeter hex bolt right here. So I'm just gonna tighten it. And after that, there is a like rubber gasket thing that you put here first and then you wrap it around under and put it on top. So you guys that right now. All right, guys, we figured it out. So you do want to put it over. You do want to put it under the arm. Right here. It's a support arm all the way around. You don't have to twist it at all. Just grab it and then bam, like just like that. Pretty clean and simple. And then after this, make sure everything's bolted down. You want to grab the the metal bracket, the OEM bracket, I'm pretty sure. Rebolt this down. Now, I'm pretty sure we can get back to putting the whole unit back. Yep. And then make sure you plug this one in so you can unlock your car, keyless entry, without clicking any buttons. This is the USB that goes to the middle. So up here. It's pretty explanatory. Oh, These, this is just gonna be loose, basically. These, you can just run loose. Yeah. It doesn't really bother anything. It'll be held in by the center console anyways. Yep. So let's get to that. And then show you guys the final product. All right, guys. So since I'm gonna be having like, I'm gonna be replacing this with the Chasing J's titanium, like open concept of the boot. Um, I basically took all these um, staplers. I basically straightened them out. And then I think I'm gonna take some of these screws out. So I'll let you guys know exactly what I'll, I gotta do to basically take this out. All right guys, so I basically took the screws out from underneath here to take the sport mode, park and brake, brake hold button out and all that. And now this is underneath it. So what you wanna do is grab a flat head and kinda push, there'll be like a tab like right here and you kind of want to push it push it out a little bit like that so push it in basically in and it's like a small tab right here that's holding it as you guys can see that piece right there is going to be holding it and you see that long piece right in the middle so you just want to push it in basically and then what you want to do is after this little skinny tab is right here it's out you're just going to push it up and out and then that way this silver piece is gonna come out 
but I think it's held on by these two screws right down here. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, guys. So you wanna put the silver piece in. So you actually didn't need to take it out. Well, I think you did because the shift boot was on there. Still put in? Yeah. So then now you can slide this bad boy in. And that's how it's gonna look. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys followed along, found it somewhat entertaining, helpful for you guys, and I'll show you guys the finished product right here. Alright guys, so this install took about 5 hours for us. We've done this install before but it was I think last year for my SI and it was like dark and nighttime. So I decided that I really missed the QD sh fully adjustable short shifter so I bought another one so that way I can have that same notchy feeling right here. Just listen to the sound. Two, three, four. Five, six, and then reverse. Super tight. I love it. I mean, I'm already somewhat used to it. Wow, fourth is super short. Look at that. Really? Yeah, awesome. compared to all the gears, fourth is super short. Oh, yeah. It's like there, and the second's like yeah. down. Yeah. Ten out of ten, I would recommend the QED fully adjustable short shifter product. If you guys don't want to void your warranty and you guys want an adjustable shifter, you can have it tight. Over time, either it loosens up just a tad bit, or your hand motion gets used to shifting, so it feels somewhat looser. That's what I noticed when I had it in my SI. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about how tight it is, and you can always adjust the gate spacing and all that type of stuff. So I mean, having this is probably one of my favorite mod without having to void my warranty. So if you guys want to cop it, go ahead. There's other options out there too, but I just love Acuity. I'm so used to Acuity product, so that's why I go for it. So yeah, that's my opinion and input on that. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. I see you guys next time. Peace.